Video games are hard, episode 44. It's Sid and Trey. Uh, we are here. What's up? We are here. I'm excited. <laughs> See, I, I had like this thing. I was thinking about it the other day for like the un while you were doing the intro there, I was I was sitting there going like, dude, I had like a thought we could do like for the uninitiated. Uh like it it, it was some sort of I, I I've been listening to some podcasts over the past few weeks. And As not that do. I've never not that I've never heard a podcast before in my life, but they they go like for the uninitiated and then just like have this quick thing they go through, but which is kind of nice, you know. So we like say we, for the uninitiated, then what do we say? Uh, we're we're two speedrunners that uh, play video games really fast, and uh, the concept of the show is that any game can be hard uh, if you put enough effort into making it. Like any children's game, any Call of Duty game, any like any competitive game, you can make it as competitive to yourself as you want. Dude, that you know? can be the point where we explain what speedrunning is. And then we can explain that speedrunning is just going really fast in a video. For the game. uninitiated, speedrunning is playing a video game as fast as you can with a timer. You time yourself, then you go fast. Yeah, yeah but that's just speedrunning. The, 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 yeah, the, the podcast name. You got to initiate people on that. Yeah, but the podcast name doesn't have anything to do. We have to be like, oh, we're right. two video game speedrunners. And then it goes and they're to like, something else. Oh, because they speedrun and they try to go yeah. fast in children's video games, they're making video games hard. Yeah. And then in this is our take. And this is our take on games being what we are, which are speedrunners. Mm, yeah. You know? Gotcha. We hate Luigi's Mansion 3. That's our take. <laughs> we don't you know? hate it, <laughs> we just think it's kind of meh. Dude, I was raging at Luigi's Mansion 3 again today. <laughs> really? Like on stream? Yeah, I was dude, he just like comes out of nowhere and goes like, "Dude, you're doing this wrong." And I'm just like, "I don't EGAD back off." You know. The only thing I rage about other than EGAD is how Luigi never gets used to putting the buttons in the elevator. He's just like, whoa. <laughs> oh, 15th time I've done this. This is crazy. <laughs> and then it's like the, the 14th time, it's like, there's a, there's a ghost in the yellow or in the button or whatever. And it's just like, oh. And then I don't you know. Have to... the, the, that game's definitely a game. Anyway. Yeah, it's, a, it's a game. Anyway. What have you been up to? I, I've been up to life, you know? We've, we've been hang COVID exists, still wearing a mask everywhere. Indeed. Uh, I, I feel like we do a pretty good job of not talking about COVID. Not that, like, where we avoid talking about COVID, it's just like it doesn't come up. The thing is, like, it barely affects me right now. Yeah, because I'm already like I'm pretty, like a pretty reclusive person in general already, mm -hmm. and I'm already I'm going to work as usual anyway as a, like an essential worker. So honestly, aside from wearing a mask to work or to Walmart and stuff, it barely affects me. Yeah. So actually, I think one of my like, I don't. I'm not even gonna say like which relative affiliation to not like low-key accidentally docks myself but one of my cousins is having a wedding in a couple of months and it's supposed to be a big wedding so i'm just sitting here thinking is that gonna like is it gonna work out like are we gonna is it gonna be kind of weird you know going around like grouped up in a big group wearing masks i don't know when was the last time they talked about it i mean i just got the invitation recently you know oh. as a cousin so it's like yeah rsvp on the website and it's gonna be great but i'm just sitting here like I don't know if I'm fully comfortable with getting into a giant group, like hundreds of people at a wedding. Like, I don't know. Maybe we could have put that off a year, but who knows? I, I, I hope that it eventually people become comfortable with it. Again. Yeah. Like, that's, maybe, you know, that's maybe, my fear at this moment. Maybe it'll be normal, like the same exact as always, just with a mask on for all I know. Yeah. In, but, but in like 20 years, it's like, oh, we're still scared of it. Like, I could definitely see that happening. Oh, and, no, in 20 years, we'll have a... Well, the thing is, we'll have this COVID thing taken care of. There'll be, like, a new thing, though, in 20 years. Yeah, COVID-2, so, the sequel. That sounds exciting. <laughs> yeah. Say it's super sick. Uh, I watched the movie Whiplash the other day. I am... Yeah, okay, sure, yes. yes. And that, you're going to say that inspired you to watch it tomorrow? Yes, I'm going to watch it tomorrow in my day where I watch movies and stuff. I was actually... I was inspired by a Zane tweet, you know... Famous Smash player, top Marth player, Zane. He tweeted out his top five favorite movies of all time, and Whiplash was on there. And that reminded me of the Smash Summit skit parodying a scene from Whiplash. And I was like, you know what? 
I got nothing else better to do tonight. I'm just going to watch the movie, see what's up with it. It's only like an hour and 40 minutes long. Yeah. And it was honestly a brilliant movie. Like, there's so many... So basically, the, the key uh, subject of the movie is like a, a young jazz musician is like working his ass off to become a part as a drummer in this like really good jazz band for like his school. And his composer, or the... What's the fucking... The guy like waving his hand around. What's the word for that? Not composer. Uh, uh, is composer right? No. Is that right? Composer? Why does that sound weird to me? I don't know. Anyway, I, I, his I, instructor I, person is like super like hella abusive on him and just like constantly threatening to like remove him from the band and like trying to replace him. And even though he's like he's a really fucking good drummer, he's just like being super hard on him for reasons you figure out later in the movie. I'm not going to spoil it, but. He ha- everyone has their motivations, including the, the composer guy. But it really, like, even jazz music aside, if, even if you're not, like, a musician Conductor. or anything, it Conductor. really, there's, like, a lot of key parallels in this movie, as nerdy as this sounds, to, like, competitive gaming. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because there's so many, like, people don't realize the, the effort, like, the, the top echelon players put in, you know, off the screen, off the stream, you know, they put their blood, sweat, and tears into becoming a top player, and it's it's not always a comfortable journey. And you know, a lot of a lot of self doubt, a lot of like pushing yourself beyond what you think you can do. Mm-hmm. But it's you know, anyone who has that drive can do it, and that's just it. Really, it really covers that whole overall lesson like super, super well. It was a really good movie. I yes, I well, I I believe that. I think like, you'll I, definitely seen, enjoy it. It's conductor, by the way. Conductor. I mean, this is not composer. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Composer music. And I was just like, that's right, right? You know, we're close. I knew. I was like, composer is like the person who makes the music. But like, who? C-O-M. C-O-N. Like, conductor. That's what it was. I bet there's people well, I, already like in the comments section. Like, it's conductor before they hear this part. Yeah. But they, they already have it typed out. They're just like. Yeah. Yeah. But I. But hey, I, we uh, figured it out. Thank you, said. Uh, I, I, I typed in Google, waving around guy in front of orchestra. <laughs> Wave, waving hands around guy and that worked and it was, it, dude it was like the fourth result it's like it says conductor i'm like perfect that's it google's crazy you ever like try to figure out like you hear like a song on the radio and you don't know what the song is you're trying to look it up to add to your spotify or something later and you're going off of like the vaguest descriptions like i think they say da 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 here and then google figures it out somehow it's like whoa dude you just need to know like four words in a row and then type lyrics yeah, and then, and then, and then that you generally works. But like, I I have no comment on Whiplash. I'm gonna watch it tomorrow. But yeah, yeah, hard work, dude. Every everything takes hard work. To be the best at anything takes hard work. That's and the, the, the movie it gets super intense at points. Like you're you're just rooting so hard for this kid to be a part of this band, and just everything is going against him. Just the craziest circumstances and things happen to him. He makes so many sacrifices. Uh, but yeah, pretty good. The the only uh, thing I can uh, I don't know I guess compare to with that is me trying to do ninety six shines lately but I don't know I'm I'm just trying to do I'm I'm trying at this point I'm trying to work on my mentality regarding ninety six shines are your are your hands bleeding from just playing so no much I, I'm not times? fucking whiplashing it <laughs> or whatever but that's what they that's what the kids say right Whip, whiplashing it um you're not whiplashing it I. I'm doing a one run every day or trying to one run every day. And no matter how bad the run is, I'm trying to not reset at all. Like today I started a run that was like a minute and a half behind in Pianta village or Pinna. And I'm like, and that's like 40 minutes in for anybody who doesn't know. And out of a two and a half hour run. And it's just like, I'm, I'm trying to make it so that I don't tilt off the face of the earth or anything, you know? So like when I do get that good run, through Yanta and Pinna. Like I I could keep resetting and I'd probably get a PB faster, but I feel like this is the best course of action for me. To, to like Yeah. I don't know, comb it down. I feel like if you're just if you only want to do one run a day, you may as well just finish it, right? Yeah. Well, it is nice to just be in in like two and a half hours and then be done. And then just kind yeah. of put it down. So you're not a fan of streaming beyond that length of time? Uh, I don't know. Lately, it's been kind of nice to just do the one run and be done. And because I haven't had a lot of 
See, it's it's not about free time for me. I, I feel like I have more free time than a lot of people. But uh, it's really hard for me to get a consistent, like, three-hour chunk where mm -hmm. nobody will interrupt me whatsoever. And just or like your dog through. interrupts you. <laughs> yeah. Well, right now the dog's not here, but yeah, the dog's a very good example. And it's just like, it's hard to go three hours or more than three hours straight and have people just respect that, you know? It's, uh, dude, the older you get, when I was in college in my dorm room, I could just stream and not give a fuck. But even though I live alone now, it's just as an adult working full time, you just have so much more responsibility and you just, yeah. I'm not like, I'm I'm not super motivated to like stream anymore for some reason. And I think my my main theory was that I'm just I feel like I've seen it all in Twitch chat. It's like A, I play a game and not have to deal with that or B, I play a game and have to just respond to the same messages over and over again. It's like I don't know. <laughs> like well, and then like I don't know. Maybe I'm just not I I say this over and over again, but I feel like I wasn't wired to be a streamer and really enjoy it. The only reason I streamed was because as a speedrunner, you're kind of expected to stream. And it's just sort of a, a side byproduct of speedrunning is streaming. I enjoy speedrunning, but like the streaming part, it was really cool at first. And I loved, you know, having an audience. But when the novelty wears off over the years and you're just sort of responding to chat because it's like a requirement, you know, it just it doesn't feel like it used to. And it, I don't know. I, I, there are definitely lulls. Like there, there are definitely lulls, uh, but I, I feel like the best advice, like not for you, like for anybody streaming. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much a lost cause. I don't have any <laughs> yeah, advice for fuck me. Fuck you. Uh, uh, I feel like the best advice I have for that is the, is like, you have to keep it interesting for yourself. Like me trying to do, like I'm focusing just on 96 shines right now and doing all that and doing like the one and trying not to tilt and all these yeah. like different goals within speedrunning. But, like, if you're just doing a run, hoping it's good, and if it's bad, then reset, and then doing that over and over again, I can get that the grind would be, like, both numbing from the game perspective and the audience perspective might be the same kind of thing, where it's just, like, the same kind of, just like, oh, good luck. Or Well, it's not even that. Like, the speedrun thing, sure, most of the time it's just, good luck, and you say, thanks for the luck. <laughs> yeah. But, like, even casual games, I would just, I just enjoy playing them offline more than streaming them nine times out of ten yep I, which uh, sucks because it, it also sucks as like a twitch partner i almost feel like i have this <laughs> obligation to stream in a way yeah but like i don't know i got partner after many years of trying to get it and it was super hype and then that was pretty much like the peak of my streaming but i just I just don't enjoy streaming that much. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Does it help you if I say there are definitely people that are partnered streamers that treat it less than you do? You know? You mean just don't even give a shit about yeah. that? They're I just don't like really care gone. either. I just feel like people see my check mark and they're like, huh, oh, how come he doesn't stream anymore? It's fishy. Say that? I don't people, know. Maybe people don't say that, but I feel like people think that sometimes. Oh, what's the stream like? Oh, blah, blah. It's just like, oh, it, uh, they go. He doesn't stream anymore. What the hell? <laughs> he, he streamed one time two weeks ago, and it was Mario Kart. Ugh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing it wasn't SSX Tricky. Whoa. Y yeah, if he if I saw him playing SSX Tricky, I'd not follow him. That's but probably Mar the worst game to play of all time. Yeah, but Twitch. He, he wouldn't have gotten partnered if he played SSX Tricky. Uh, it's, not, it's not possible. Uh, I don't know. That that's how I keep streaming interesting for me. Uh, right now, like I, yeah. I have the people that consistently come by, and like I've talked to J Pep, all the like all the usual suspects. Yeah, show yeah, up. it's cool having like a, sort of a, a following of similar people that you see in chat. That's really cool to have. And we just talk about the game sometimes. Sometimes it's like super dead, but I'm focused on the game too. Mm -hmm. Like, it, I don't know. It's I, I'm trying to keep it interesting for myself and uh, going for 96. I I don't know what the fuck I'll do when I it. It, it, uh, what is it? The I'm like a dog chasing cars. Like w when I get 96 shine world record, I don't know what the fuck I'll do. Like what? Like what am I gonna do after I get world record? If if it's I just get like it? you got to figure out which journey to tackle next in life. And I, I sort of briefly touch on this in the video I'm working on, which I'll get to later in this episode. Um, you have like this really like dead set goal in mind. Like for you, it's 96 shines record, right? 
but you never really think about oh once i get this time you know in your mind you're like oh if i could just get this time you know everything will make sense and i'll be <laughs> happy forever but that's just not realistic you'll get that time and like sure you'll celebrate it'll be great for like a few weeks but then you sort of got to figure out okay what next but what do I do? I do a new game? Do I do a new category? Do I do I just do I just try to put this time down? Yeah, it's it's definitely a, a bridge to cross if if that happens. But right now, it's nice to have like a goal. And yeah, and I feel like for the past few months, I haven't had like a clear cut goal in mind outside of this video I'm working on, which is like kind of a longer term project. Um, there's like a few things I've been dabbling in. Actually, so I started dabbling in a little a little side uh, caveat of speedrunning known as tool-assisted speedrunning, mm. which I don't know, even talking <laughs> about it, I feel like kind of like a poser right now because I don't really know shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I was thinking of like dipping my toe in, you know, seeing if I could sort of figure out the intricacies of tassing, as they call it. For those who don't know, okay, like unironically, I'll explain what tassing is. <laughs> Not, not, uh, okay, sure. Because we, we explained speedrunning, but I assume if you're watching episode 44 of Video Games Are Hard, you might know what speedrunning is. Hey, can I, can I tackle it first? Can I tackle what yeah, tasking go, is? Yeah, go for it. Okay, so you know how we explained speedrunning earlier, right? Yeah, that was sick, by the way. I, instead, instead of that, it's a robot that's doing it. Yeah, basically, you, you make a robot <laughs> and he does it for you. Yeah, you, comp you make a Honda robot. A Japanese know, robot. You, you can yeah. explain tasking if you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, tool assisted speedrunning is when you use an emulator such as Dolphin for GameCube games. Legally, of course, nothing illegal. You know, it's yeah, totally legal. I, I own the copy of the game, so it's fine, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and you pretty much you you start recording. It like starts recording inputs. But you can essentially go as slow as possible or even go frame by frame and also reload save state as many times as you want and essentially press the most ideal inputs possible on every frame possible to create a theoretical perfect run of a game. And it's pretty much as tedious as it sounds, but I think it could be a pretty fulfilling uh, process if I find something I want to work on. I've started tasking Mario Kart Double Dash. I, again, I don't really know a whole lot of what I'm doing aside from the save standing process. I've sort of figured it out. There was a video by Tass Malio. Uh, it was like a really brief tutorial on like how to start tasking stuff. And he went into things. There's some parts of it I might not even bother doing for now because you, there's like coding and stuff to make different memory addresses appear on your screen. But then I was like, you know what? Mario Kart... I don't really need to get a speed address, which memory addresses, there's like, you know, X, Y, Z position, you got speed. And that's super useful to like sort of figure out, okay, is my speed good on these frames? I can't really tell just looking at like one screenshot of this frame. But if I can see like a speed value, I can see, okay, I'm going pretty fast there. That's really good. But I don't really need that in Mario Kart because, you know, you got the speedometer there. Yeah. And I can see, okay, as long as I'm just going... 70 miles per hour as much as possible that's that's pretty fast right so i'm probably just gonna like you know go by feel use my already inherent knowledge from running the game um i think there, there were some like patch notes not patch notes some notes i don't know why i said patch <laughs> <laughs> about, the patch notes uh going over like the optimal the optimal rates to move the control stick to do mini turbos it's like eight frames neutral eight frames side then eight more than like three then three more to essentially charge the blue flame to get a mini turbo as soon as possible um so there's that and then pretty much just like trying to move the control stick to have the most optimal line possible maybe i'll start doing it and five minutes in realize yeah this isn't for me but i'm gonna give it a shot you know maybe at some point give it a shot might start out with like luigi circuit who knows and uh, it'll be fun. I will hate everything you make. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sid is uh, notoriously not a fan of Tasses. I, I used to be a fan of Tasses. I've talked about it on a podcast before. Wait, when did I, that switch happen where you realized, wait, this is dumb as fuck? I, I, I think it was legit when the Any% Sunshine Task came out. 
so it was like a game I played. Or... You're just going to be ours to even watch it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I watched the first bit of it. I watched until PD, and for anybody that knows Sunshine, that's the literally the first level you do after all the cutscenes. And You weren't impressed when he literally created the word <laughs> task with goop while fighting the boss? I was not. I do not care. Oh, that was so <laughs> sick, though. Come on. That, that, that's, that's the point where I'm out, where it's just like, oh, God damn! Like I don't care. <laughs> like, you think that like the cooler it is, it's like yeah, dude, fuck, fuck this guy. He's just showing. It's like up. you're, you're. I don't know. There's a part of my brain that's just like you're trying to look cool at this. But like, there's, there's. The but to be fair, he does look pretty cool. I well, I don't. I didn't watch the rest <laughs> of it. I don't know. I, I at some point, it's just it, it seems cocky to me, and it's weird. It. I don't know. It's just. I I don't like the attitude of some tassers from like one GDQ ever, and I didn't like. I don't know. It, it's just, it seems disingenuine to me. It's, it's weird. It's just like weird co combination. If it's like really impressive and you play Pong in Super Mario World or like something that you shouldn't happen. But if I'm watching, what, what was it? A Celeste task where mm -hmm. they, it just, they beat the game in, I don't know how long it was, 45 minutes, 30 minutes. I don't know. But I was sitting there watching it. And it's just like, it's just somebody that plays perfect. It's like, how lame is that? There's no emotion behind it. There's no, there, there's not somebody being like, oh my god, this is the best run. It like that's the cleanest I've ever done. There's no, there's no backing to it in my mind. So you're just and, like really all about the human aspect of speedrunning. Yeah. Like you don't care about perfection. You just care about, dude. What's the like emotional feeling going through when they do this run? Well, I I am about perfection, but it's when a person does it. When somebody, when a robot does it, does it perfectly. I'm like, sure. And then you think fine. it's even you think it's even worse when the tasses do little like show offy things. <laughs> I don't know. I just get sick. I, I'm just like now you're just wasting time. Like, damn it, this know. guy's too cool. Fuck this shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like I can't do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm pissed. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't I, know. That's an interesting take. I'm not gonna say it's like a, a bad take. I think it's an interesting one. Um, I don't know. I just feel secret. the exact opposite way personally. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fine. I, I don't. We're think very you different people. Agree with me. <laughs> dude we do a podcast together and you're gonna you're planning to do tasks so uh that's yeah. why we're ending soon and you know. yeah that's why uh, we this is the last episode um yeah it's been a ride actually like, should we what, should we touch on that before i like finish up uh, the tasking thing do we well, are you, go for it uh should we like say like our plan for the next few episodes i, I think you should finish up the tasking thing okay sure yeah um bottom line is i may not even make a single task in my life okay what i did do <laughs> as like a little test run is i i tasked myself getting through like turn the game on and the menu selection stuff selecting character selecting the track i menued to selecting the characters bowser jr and toadette with the barrel train and the luigi circuit time trial i think frame perfectly so i've at least tasked that much <laughs> but again you know perfect menuing not even close to how hard it is to get like perfect actual playing the game so we'll see how that goes dude menuing should be respected trey yeah especially when you can do it over and over again so you hit the very first frame <laughs> yeah uh but even doing that it took me a little bit uh, to figure out because the hardest part for me to like get a, get my mind across or my mind like in the mindset of was when you do an input it doesn't immediately go there's like a three frame delay, like pressing an input, it happens natively in the game three frames later, at least in Double Dash it does. Okay. So anything you press, if you're like pressing A for a menu, you have to know, okay, this is three frames before the actual thing initially lets me press it. So like that's like the soonest time possible. So like when you're like going over in the character selection screen, like pretty much doing like over neutral, over neutral every other frame to go as fast as possible, you, you start that process three frames early, which is kind of unintuitive, but once you get used to that, it's, you know, you just got to deal with that three frame delay. So, yeah, that's all I've done so far, and we'll see if I even commit at all to that. So, yeah, uh, episode up, podcast update. Let's go. Yes, <laughs> episode podcast update. That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, yeah, uh, so my thought is, so Trey and I are going to be, d for this, this is for the podcast audience, our, our illustrious, I don't know, widespread audience of This podcasts. is a podcast about a podcast now. This is episode 44, right? Um, yeah. So we're going to be wrapping up 
the first season of the podcast at episode 50. So I guess including this one, there'll be seven episodes left. And yep. uh, then Trey and I are going to take a break at the very least. Uh, it could be uh, for forever. Know, infinity, <laughs> forever. It, it could be just the end of the podcast or it could be like three months if we feel like we really want to get back to it. Uh, it's not like we're super sick of it. It's it's mostly uh, like Trey wants to do some YouTube stuff. I'm down to just like hang and uh, do whatever. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, we're going to take a break for a small bit. I think it's healthy because we, I don't know, periodically yeah, don't have I mean, shit to talk about. Especially for me, it's, not, it's like editing the video each week isn't hard to do at all. You just listen to the audio and then you sync it up and then, I don't know, make a thumbnail and get some footage and then boom, you're done. But it's like, you know, having a few weeks or a few months even to just sort of not have to do that, or especially the, the best part, not talk to Sid. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa. That'll be a, a nice break. <laughs> yeah, we'll never talk. Um, but yeah, uh, it'll just be good for us. You know, it's healthy to take breaks. And, you know, and, episode 50 marks a full year of doing this, which is pretty hype in my opinion. Yep, yeah, cool. Uh, so our plan was... Or, I don't know, I, I, I kind of threw it out there. Uh, we might have re-guests. So, like, we had Emo twice, but... Uh, so, we for the next few episodes, like, for the next, I guess, six episodes, we'll have, like, maybe five guests in a row, or six guests in a row, ending with uh, a unique guest we have a, an idea of, you know? Yeah, we're not going to spoil it, but, you know, we've been, we've been hyping it up, on like, low-key during these episodes. We, we we might not actually do that. We might do like regular, just next be a, a new guest and then off week and Trey and I and then uh, three guest episodes or two guest episode or whatever. However, the math yeah, would work it's out. Not, it's just, not set in stone. Yeah, we're 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 just thinking about how to end and uh, just I don't know. We're, we're, we might we're get Kaplan about again. We might get Reed. I don't know. <laughs> we might get Reed. Who knows? Uh, we'll see. I think it'd be fun just to do like a casual you and me cast with just a third person. And just hang and out. And we could sort of like change the format because we already did the, the gaming resume with them. We could like do something else. Yeah. And just kind of hang. Mix it up a little bit. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, and that's to, our podcast to, update. To go back to Tassing for a second. I, okay. I think what I used to really like about Tassing is the, the routing. Like the mm -hmm. interesting routing of Tassing. But like after that happens, I'm just kind of like, whatever. But... It, but more more lately, I've just become a curmudgeon about it. And even with the 120 task, like I see him get the the what goop uh, blue coin while opening gelato or whatever, and I'm just sitting there going like, okay, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just I'm just like a big curmudgeon when it I don't comes know, to like it's cool. It's now. even possible to do theoretically. Yeah, I don't know. And then I'm just a weirdo. actually the most the most recent so like Zalpiku Kirby, who's pretty much the quintessential Mario Sunshine Tasser. He is making like he released a work in progress for the 120 task recently. He's working on. Yeah, I think he's over halfway done. He was doing the Delfino shines in the most recent one, and he, dude, he did the fruit ladies, the the pineapple and the durian lady in that episode part episode. He did those, and uh, to summarize, you know, usually in a 120 run, you take the pineapples one by one, go on the roof, throw them from there, but you know, with just perfect water positioning he like sprayed all six fruit like sort of down to like that police area then like sprayed them up the wall and just a lot of spraying into like perfect locations and it's like dude how the fuck did you make this <laughs> it was nuts he's a he's a genius I, I don't think it doesn't take hard work i'm just i'm just a big curmudgeon about it i i, I don't yeah, hate yeah. on people that like it i just don't care yeah that's fine, that's fine. i'm just saying yep. it, it was dope when he was so, you know how you can't put the fruit in a basket before talking to the person? Yep. Like, th there's a weird rule in Sunshine where if your fruit goes in the basket before you talk to the fruit lady, it doesn't count because, you know, game logic. But in the task, he launches the three durians toward the basket while talking to the lady. Then when the conversation's over, they just, boom, go right in. Then you talk to her again immediately. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty nuts. Um, I might link it below in the description. Anyone curious about the 120 task progress? Uh, if you're not like Sid, I think you'll think it's really cool. 
Who knows? So Piku's, <laughs> so Piku's nutty. Yeah, even Snake and admits that Piku's nutty. Yeah, I, I, I've always thought he was nutty. He, he, dude, Selpiku found a lot of super relevant tech in Sunshine. Rocket storage. He found everything rocket related. 3YG. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, 3YG, not, not 2YG. Selpiku's really <laughs> dude, good. Imagine I, you're I, still doing 2YG. I, yeah. Dude, I was talking about it. Uh, like, if I wasn't intimately involved with, with finding 2YG and, like, if I... I I feel like if I was new, I, I, I don't remember what the, the context was, but I feel like there's definitely a, a universe where I'm speedrunning Sunshine and still doing 2YG. Where I'm just like, so, like, <laughs> it's like, oh, this new development, whatever. And just just keep doing my old You're thing. Like, whatever, I'll play any six shines where you don't even do it. So. Yeah, or, or that, exactly. Uh, were you, you saying, gotta... like, if you weren't intimately involved in the process of finding it, you'd probably look at it and be like, eh, fuck this game. <laughs> yeah, fuck this game. Yeah, exactly. This is, this is a little, a little too crazy. Like, ah, uh, sure, I, I, like, I'm just out in the fringes, just looking at it, and just like, what the fuck are they... Like, it looks cool, but like, fuck this, you know? It's, it's, it's like yeah. tassing for me. Like, EYG would be tassing for me, where it's just like, oh, it looks cool. Yeah, but screw this, you know? I'm not gonna do it. I don't wanna wait for these bullet bills. That seems like kind of a chore. I don't wanna, I don't wanna spell tass... I don't wanna spell tass in the goop. <laughs> no, you have to spell tass in the goop or else you're not going fast. <laughs> you gotta spell tass in the goop! <laughs> uh, so what, what else we got? Do, we, do you got anything you wanna um, jump to? I guess, you know, sort of wrapping up. Actually, yeah, I'll talk about like my video stuff in a second, but... This is all about me right now. <laughs> I don't know. That's fine. Uh, I, I, sort I got of, a lot of... I've, I've sort of come to the conclusion that like, I returned to Double Dash to like, speedrun it because of the Fantasy League thing. By the way, Season 4 started just now for the next two weeks. And Stated Williams I mean, actually called the two tracks that are able to be played for that. I'm a I'm pretty good guesser, I guess. Rainbow Road and Wario Coliseum. Yep. I, I, yesterday I was just like, I don't know. I like Rainbow Road. I'll say Rainbow Road. And like, I don't know, a random one. Wario Coliseum. And I just kind of sure enough, threw it out after there. the stream that just happened, those were the two that were randomly picked. So everybody hates me because those tracks are really hard. Apparently, I don't know. I don't play the game. They're, no, they're <laughs> not hard. Well, actually, Wario is pretty good. Everyone just hates Rainbow Road, though. I, 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 well, okay, so so Rainbow Road is just boring. That's the issue. It's um, yeah. It it actually has like the lowest mini turbo density of any track by far because a lot of it's just like riding on boost pads. Yeah, that's that's how you gauge a, a good track in in Double Dash, how many um, mini turbos Honestly, for you me, have. like, I kind of <laughs> like it because I suck at mini turbos. <laughs> yeah. That's mostly why, I, like, I think I'm not really going to commit to this game, though, because I just, I cannot for the life of me get consistent MTs. It's just, it's hard. You got to have this just insane finesse of your thumb that I've just never developed. And I, I, I couldn't improve my Bowser's Castle as much as I wanted to. It was kind of tilting me and I came to the realization like yeah I'm sure I could get good at this game over time much like the guy in Whiplash just like commit hours and hours to it <laughs> but is it really worth it for me it, like because some people in that game improve faster than others like Optimus Nagimo improves like ungodly fast that's where he got to where he was as the number two maybe soon to be number one player in the world stay tuned Ooh. for that Ooh. Um, but then there's people like me who just don't improve so fast I, I got to like the mid-level relatively fast you know to hero and titan low-level titan pretty fast but then i just hit this just wall like absolute wall where every improvement i just gotta like claw my way to get and by the time i get it i'm just like fuck man that was way too much work for the payoff <laughs> so it's just and also like with my busy schedule I think I gotta find something else to do. Maybe that's why I wanted to task it, because I'm like, you know what? Fuck that. I'm gonna just like do it perfectly and not be bad at games, right? Fuck, fuck this game. I don't want to play it anymore. I'm gonna. I, I'm just gonna play perfectly by with my computer. I'm just, I'm gonna, just gonna tear gonna... this game a new one and not even work for it. Just like, <laughs> you know, do all the perfect inputs and yeah, fuck this game. Yeah, I did it. I did this. I made I this made this, thing. This. One twelve Luigi circuit. I don't even know if it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> the record's one fourteen point one. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, 
<laughs> Dude, I'm so lost today. Um, oh, but so uh, okay, I'll, we'll wrap up the the tray portion of this episode, I guess, soon. Sure. Let's let's wrap final it. thing because it's all about me, baby. The video I'm making, I didn't talk about it recently, but it, I think it's coming together. As in, the uh, the script is basically done. I always say basically because whenever like the script is done, it's never actually done. I always go back and change stuff every now and then. Or like I'll, I'll reread parts of it and be like, I could word that better, like remove that word. But Optimize. actually today before this episode started recording, um, I actually started finally doing voiceovers, which I, I hate doing voiceovers, not gonna lie. I, w I was this close to calling an SM loader to do it for me, but I was like, you know what? <laughs> my video, my voiceovers, as much as I hate doing them, it's not even so much like, well, I guess, yeah, the process is tedious. I'm not going to lie. But it's, it's figuring out what tone I want to use. I'm like, do I want to sound more serious for this video or more energetic and upbeat? I can never like decide between those two extremes. So it's just kind of, I feel like my voice comes off as like this awkward in between energy levels where it's like, I don't know what this guy feels right now. Maybe I'm overthinking it though. Who knows? What 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 like, do you feel I like what do you think of my voiceovers, honestly? <laughs> I, I think they're fine. I've never really thought about the inflection you use uh during any segment whatsoever. Like I do not I d I don't from from like one line to the next. The only time you've I've ever noticed it is when you pointed it out to me in like I, I don't even remember which video it was. It was like Pianta Six World Record History or mm -hmm. it could have been the one twenty one. But I remember you being like, Oh, the, like this was the end of a session and this was the beginning of a new one or something like that. Oh, I and think I did I tell just, you that, yeah. And and I was just like, Oh, I wouldn't have noticed it if you didn't point it out. But like now that you point it out, I'm not gonna argue with you. It does sound kinda different. But that's maybe maybe it. I shouldn't talk about this, because like once I Sort of like go over like, yeah, I record these lines like 10 times per sentence, almost. You'll listen back to me and be like, oh shit, he is like fucking, that does sound weird now. <laughs> this guy sucks ass. This He's... guy's voice is terrible. What am I, is this even Trey? <laughs> Who is this? Ugh, gross. So yeah, Damn, I started doing voiceovers. Um, the script is only like seven pages long or so. My previous videos, like the 80% history video, quota, easy meat right there. The Any Person History video was around 20-ish pages long. So I guess this video will be like roughly in the ballpark of 20 to 25 minutes, I'm assuming. Um, and yeah, for those who don't know, the video is about sort of analyzing why speedrunners say that they suck. That's, yep. that's the video. Uh, yep. I've, I've been trying to mitigate that late, lately, but it's, uh, it's hard. No, you should definitely do it more. So I use one of your clips. <laughs> oh, oh. Because uh, actually, like one of the parts that was most tedious for me was like the beginning of the video. I have it open up. Actually, that as well. I finished editing the uh, like the intro for the video, which is essentially just like a, a compilation of clips from various runners saying, "Oh, this is bad" or "This is embarrassing" and stuff like that. But man, finding those clips, it was the the scavenger hunt of the century. Because it See, wasn't even, like, it wasn't so much, like, it, it's hard because you don't even know where to look, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. You're just like, okay, I'm going to go to this random PB by this random person, and I'm going to, like, I had some techniques to find clips. One of my techniques was, like, okay, I'm going to go somewhere in the video after they get a red split, and maybe they'll say it. <laughs> <laughs> um... Another good technique is there's actually there's a there's a really helpful feature on YouTube where you know how like most YouTube videos get auto English captioned for us yeah like auto generated captions you can actually view the transcript of the captions uh, below the video somewhere and then I do that and then I, I'll like control F words like bad and suck mm. and be like oh maybe he says like suck at like 43 minutes in I'll use that. Um, doesn't always work, but, you know, I found some clips by doing that, I'll admit. Um, but yeah, I finished that intro, finding those clips took me God knows how long, but that's done. I just got to finish the voiceovers and then actually do the fun part, which is editing the video. Woohoo. Oh, I love editing all. That's so great. And that's, um, <laughs> I think I've covered pretty much everything I'm doing right now. So on to you. <laughs> See, all I have is discussion stuff. 
All right, I perfect. Have, that's that works for me. I have a bunch of discussion stuff. I don't have anything so like I talked about ninety six shines. That's basically all I've been doing gaming wise. Uh, Trey and I have been playing melee in the in the session we just had before this recording. Uh, he beat me like five games in a row to start, and then I g- took one game, and then he's just like, "Oh, let's record." I'm like, "Fuck!" <laughs> take the one game win, and then dip. Yeah. But uh, honestly, I wasn't even paying attention. I was mostly focused because we were playing it while listening to the Mario Kart Double Dash Fantasy League update stream. Yeah, and I was like mostly focused on that, but I guess I was playing pretty well. So I was paying attention. That's all I'll say. I think the fact that there was like an exterior force might have been affecting your game to a small enough degree to where I got like a bit of an edge. Sure, Trey. Hey, I'm the sure. kind of guy where like, I'm, I'll, <laughs> I'll John for other people. You're welcome. Nice John. Uh, I will John for you. That's how good I, of a person I am. See, I, I feel like it helps me though. There's like, there, there are some things that I just keep doing that I'm just like, ugh. And I feel oh, like Oh, there's garbage. one thing I keep doing. I don't know. I don't know. What, I don't, I don't know, what know what that is. is. I, there's, there's definitely one that I keep doing where I was just like, "Oh my god, stop doing this, god damn!" And then, oh wait, oh, do you yeah, want to say you, what that is, or if you say it, I'll uh, like, no, I just like keep attacking your shield at bad times, and and then to be fair, I hold shield grab. a lot, like probably too much, and and then I get grabbed, and I'm like, ah, fuck, it's it's mostly Dude, the shield grab thing. I think I saw a video at one point from like SSBM tutorials back when that was a thing. Where, like, the number one scrubby thing is shield grabbing? See, the super, the even more scrubby thing is always getting hit by the shield grab, you know? Oh, yeah, well. That's the I next guess if it down. works, I'm gonna keep doing it, so, sorry. Yeah, that is exactly, so I'm just like, stop dash attacking his shield like a weirdo. <laughs> like, Mario's dash attack isn't even that good. Um, I just suck at getting grabs outside of not shielding, I don't know. It's, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like the, a raw read to get a regular grab. That's all I'm really doing. I'm doing 96 shines basically every day. Like, I, I feel like I'm treating 96 shines like a hobby right now, which is nice. Where it's just like ev- every day I play it, but I'm not like grinding. Uh, I feel like speedrunning is generally a hobby, unless it's like. Well. You, you feel like it's like a job because you do it so much? Well, it, like, I feel like if it was a grind, it's just like, I need to get this PB. Like, that's not in my head right now, where it's just. I'm just filling out my notepad. I have a notepad that I'm filling out with all the runs that I've completed. So I have like some sort of thing to write down at the end and just keep track of it. Like I'm maybe not like in a video game, like as you, you, you put your Goron spice in, you get your 50 rupees and it puts of in course. Your, the 50 rupees in the top. It's more valuable than a Goron spice mission for me, but uh, I, I like just like, I finished a run that day. I finished a run that day. I didn't finish a run that day, so there's it's blank, and then keeps going like that. But it, it, it's helping me keep on track and like actually finish runs. I, that's just need. Uh, that's where I need to be. I feel, and if I'm wrong, whatever. I'm just wasting my time. That's actually but, a good idea. I, I wish, I wish that since day one, I was like taking note of every single 120 run I finished. I I started doing it last year when I was doing the one run every single day at the start of 2019. Uh, and that lasted for like what a couple months? Uh, it lasted pretty well. Uh, I I did one every single day for forty two days. That's really good. Uh, really good. Which, which is for ninety six times, it's pretty good. And uh, then I took a break, like a few day break, and then I started pick, picking at it. But then I stopped keeping track. Uh, I stopped typing it in my notepad. But now I actually do it on stream, where I finish a run, and then I bring the notepad up on stream and type it out so that I actually do it. Mm-hmm. Um, which which is good. Uh, some runs are bad. Some t- some runs are good, and some runs are uh, meh. But I don't know. I'm keeping I'm keeping it up. Uh, eventually, Actually, I'll... that just reminded me that you know, like the splits.gg website. Uh sure. Yeah, I believe there's a feature where you can look at your total run history, like different statistics on that, and you can figure out which splits you do worse on on average yeah so like you could like look at your <laughs> let's say you have like 500 total runs done in a certain category you can see which splits you tend to lose more time on or like mess up on more I, so there's at least that <laughs> option i can look at to like see okay you know noki four i lose 20 seconds on in like one fourth of runs for example but i don't know that's an option 
I, I, I don't feel like I need splits.io. It's dot, .io, right? Oh, wait, splits. yeah, it's a GG. Splits.io. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think GG I need that. Usually. I, I don't think I need that to tell me what I'm bad at. <laughs> I, uh, I, 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 I periodically take notes. I know like, what I'm bad at, and it's yeah, almost well, everything. I, yeah, I, I write down what <laughs> I need to practice. Sometimes, like, I don't practice it, but I have it written down, like, on the side of my note, notepad for, uh, for the podcast right now, alongside my eight podcast topics. Uh, I have four levels that I've been fucking up in Sunshine that I need to, like, at least like visit during a practice like it, it see where i'm at in sunshine i don't need to like beat myself into like learning a new strat or anything like that i just need to like enter the level in in a not run and be like okay what am i doing wrong and that's all i really need to do you need to be uh, super in the moments in a flow state throughout most of the run yeah like, but it, it can be it, hard to get into that position sometimes it, it's like there there's I've been screwing up Pinna Seven Quick Kill, so like the end the Shadow Mario at the end of Pinna Park. And like for five runs straight I've been screwing it up. Like not not like in a really bad way, like sometimes I'm only losing a second, three seconds, like nothing horrible. Like I've been doing worse in other levels, but it's been so consistent that when I turn on the game, probably maybe after we record or tomorrow, like I'll go to pin a seven and be like, okay, what am I doing wrong? Like how, cause he's just not done. Like I, I just need to go in there and be willing to screw it up a couple times in order to be like, oh, this is what I'm doing. Like, like goopy inferno or just like any, any, any level in any speed game where it's just like when you do it in a run versus doing it in like the, the mode of I'm looking at what I'm doing wrong, blah, blah, blah. Like the, the freedom of being able to screw up. There's a lot to that instead of just like in the moment being like, oh, this is what I'm doing, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, that, that's all I really need to do for those levels. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, that's me. That's what I'm doing lately. I'm just playing Sunshine. Oh, and I was just uh, going to say like Pinna 7 Quick Kill. That's one of the easier Quick Kills. You'd probably agree, right? Oh, yeah. That's why that's why it's a bad thing that I'm screwing it up. <laughs> but the thing is, it's it's the easy levels that kill you because honestly, like when you're in the run, you tend to be focusing more on the quote unquote harder levels, I feel like. Mm -hmm. So you'll like, maybe you'll like nail a hard level, like, hell yeah, I got that level, let's go. Or maybe you'll mess it up and be like, oh, well, it's a hard level, so it's whatever, right? But then the easy levels, which you're probably going to practice less, y you mess that up and it's like, ah, oh, goddammit, I'm so dumb. This sucks. They sneak under the radar. And the, the easy levels are the, are the real mental killers, that's all I'm going to say. Oh. Yeah, if if you screw up Rico Harbor for any any percent, yeah, messing runner, up any part of Rico sucks. Yeah, you just like lose five seconds in Rico. It's just like this Rico is god awful now. Like this is just because I wasn't paying. Like I oh I grabbed him when I grabbed the blooper when his nose was still covered with ink. I uh, Y turned into the wall entering Rico too. Like there's so many different examples of just like small t time losses that can not lose that much time in the grand scheme of things in Rico, but. It's just like if you screw up anything in Rico, if you lose like four seconds, it's just like, ugh, like Rico is the easiest thing. And the yeah, most if you're, if you're just going through Rico, like not trying to go super ham and like really f paying attention to what you're doing, you probably shouldn't lose any time at all. The, 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 this is something I coined recently. And uh, I want to know if you, this is our quick sunshine segment. All right. Rico Harbor as a level entirely. How, how do you think about this? It's the pin of four of worlds. Huh. What do you think, let me about, think that? about that? The pin of four of worlds. So pin of four is, is the snooze Koopa level. I feel where, like you're insulting Rico pretty heavily there. Well, it, it's not. See, in comparison to everything else, I'm not saying Rico's a bad level or uh -huh. world. But if you screw anything up it, like if you miss the cycle in pin of four, it's just like, this is got like the only, the only way you can do pin of four well is getting the one cycle. And it's just kind of like, it's the same thing every time, unless you do like, insane well, there, is, there is the thing where like you sort of mess it up and you gotta like clutch it out. True. But, but that's there, pretty rare. So. But, it, but inherently in pin of four, there isn't like anything super satisfying about it. If yeah. you, if you it, get, it's like either threats, like maybe zero or one seconds lost or 10 plus seconds lost. Yeah, if, if you screw it up, you feel like shit because you just lose nine or ten seconds. But if you don't screw it up, it's just like, okay, so that was a pin of four that I didn't screw up. 
you know? Whereas, and, like, Rico Harbor, let's say you're doing Rico 5 and you just randomly hit a blooper or you try to grab the face too soon on the blooper fight and then you just yeah. lose a few seconds for no reason. Yeah, and, and it's same with every level. Like, Rico 4 uh, is just by the numbers. Maybe the spin slides change that Well, you might die in the secret, but, you know, aside from that. Sure, but... Like, as a whole, if you lose any time in... Like, that would be even worse. If you lose any time in Rico, it's just like, dude, I shouldn't lose any time in Rico. You, yeah, I, you, when I, you get to a certain level, you, you shouldn't lose time in Rico. It's true. It, it, it's really sad. And uh, Even though it, it's so dumb how the, how the brain works, because, let, you know, you lose five seconds in Rico, you feel like garbage. You yep. lose probably 15 in Gelato 2, and you're like, eh, whatever, Gelato 2. Yeah, it's just RNG. But like, the, if you, you lose- it's still... It's that what's what's that fallacy where it's like if you're let's say you know I don't even know what it's called where like you you care so much about saving twenty percent of your money on like a candy bar the same amount as like saving money on like a car like buying a car but like how the fuck does it go like you, you care think. about like saving a few hundred dollars on a car payment the same as saving a few dollars on like eggs or something even well, though yeah, you, you know yeah. for the car thing it's hundreds of dollars but it's like we think of it as like a ratio versus the actual amount yeah essentially and, and, and it's right like when I do lose three seconds I shouldn't lose like if I bonk twice in a level that is just super easy you feel like shit but yeah you, you could feel the same way for, I don't, I don't, I can't think of an example, but like just something like three extra cycles in King Boo is much worse, but you can be like, oh, okay, whatever, that's done. Like you can't really get mad at RNG. Maybe that's a bad example. Dude, that's, a, RNG, that's literally but, a key point in my video I'm making. <laughs> but but it, it's just, it's tough. And uh, like, yeah. that's, that's kind of why I'm doing the no resets so often to like get out of the funk as fast as possible. Like I've been, uh, another one of my levels that I've been screwing up is Noki 6. Because I've I, in the past two runs, I've literally died, and and dying at the end of Noki Six sucks. And I've died twice at the end of Noki Six. And yeah, even even knowing it's a hard level, it it sucks. Yeah, and it just sucks so bad. But, uh, like, I've been being very good about shrugging, even though it like then it's a dead run, and maybe I should reset. Whatever, all those thoughts come into your head. I'm just trying to shrug it off as fast as possible. And I'm I feel like I'm doing pretty good at that, like shrugging off the time loss or like the frustration or whatever as quickly as I can. And you just got to think of it as like, since you're taking note of each time you get, like what's the best, like if I averaged out the next hundred runs I do, how good can my average be? So even if you lose like one particular run, you want to at least keep trying so that your overall average can be not damaged. Yeah, I, I sure that's a way to look at it and that's a way you could do it but i just like i just don't want any one run to be utterly terrible you know right uh sure you, you don't want as, like one mistake to to domino into more mistakes because you're not in the right and not in a good mood dude this goes into one of my my topics i was talking about i i or i was i had written down uh i was watching a, a new player of the game i'm not gonna say his name i guess he probably listens but i was i was watching a new player of sunshine and how and, do we talk and like just start playing it? I think he's been playing for a few months, but like okay. he's, but he, but he has like a one forty ish time. He knows who I'm. Uh, he knows who I'm talking about. And a few I have no clue who this is, about. but right. But he, I, I was watching him uh, last night, and we like we've talked about making tutorials periodically. Like you've talked about making tutorials. <laughs> I've talked about making tutorials. And I'm, I'm so lazy. <laughs> Pardon me. I'm really lazy. Yeah. Well, that's all I'm uh, saying. Yeah. I, I never. I've said like probably like once every few months. Like, yeah, I've, I should make a tutorial on how to <laughs> do jelly skip. I never did. So I feel like every Sunshine Runner at some point has either made a tutorial or talked about making a tutorial. But it's like especially dumb for me because I obviously have the video making knowledge oh, yeah. to make it. I just never bothered. See. But th- th- this is my point. I feel like it's a lot harder to make a tutorial than you think. Like, sure, you could go the Dutch J route, not to talk shit on Dutch J is probably. I I, I was all I, I was a I was a good runner, or I, I guess 
in in the scene enough to not have to use his tutorials for anything, mm-hmm. but maybe his tutorials are great. I don't know. Like Sammy's I think tutorials, I've seen maybe some of that shit. They're pretty good. I, I, I think the only tutorial I ever used was Cloaked Yoshi's uh, GBS tutorial back in 2014. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, but Out of everyone who made one, you chose Cloaked Yoshi. <laughs> out of, yep. Like and, a boss. Uh, I, I remember when uh, newer people at the time, like Bouncy Boy uh, and Raise Fire making a GBS tutorial, like everybody's, every yeah. era of SMS has a GBS tutorial. And uh, like we've talked about making tutorials. I think those tutorials are sure, whatever, like, do, like learning how to do a trick specifically is fine. There are so many things that new players like don't think about that. Like it was so eye opening watching a player so new because i'm just like we could have their third eye open was just like the just like subtle little hints to what to do in specific levels like i was watching him do bianco four you, you know how there's okay this is going to be super deep sms knowledge i, I apologize for anybody that doesn't know super we'll Mario Sunshine that but you know the green grass part where you just like go up to the lip for Bianco four and you slide down and then you do the momentum spin onto the, onto the wall. You mean the, the grass you momentum spin off of? Yeah. At the start. Wait, the, st- Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like the very start. Yeah. Like you just hover slide and then you're up on the grass and then you're going down. Uh, th- that part, a lot of people fuck up because they just kind of like go straight along the grass. They just go right and they're just like on on the side of the grass and then they get pushed off the grass. Mm -hmm. But like sunshine works in such a way that if you don't want to interact with the grass at all, like you, 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 you just want to like go up the ramp and then just or uh, for like interact with the grass as little as possible and just kind of like or interact, uh, I guess not interact with the grass as little as possible, but just interact with that little hump in the middle as little as possible. It's just like get over the hump and then you're on the grass and just for that split second. But wait, so are we talking about like the very first water slide transitioning from the ground to the grass? Yes. Okay. So, so like a lot of, a lot of guys just go along that, that ridge and then they just expect to be on the grass, but it doesn't work like it's it's like pure, it's like actual momentum. You don't have any momentum to go right at that point Mm -hmm. if you're going along the grass. So you want to be like in the middle on the road and then on the grass and not interact with that ridge very, very much. There's like a lot of those. It's weirdly eye-opening to watch a newer player have those little, little issues. Cause as players of the game for as long as we've been like, there, there are things that you, I'm, I'm, I'll go into my note to have the other example. The one like I can people, think of is uh buffered spin jumps. Yeah. That's another one. Cause dude, actually I didn't know how to buffer spin jumps until probably late 2014 when i saw Cafalon doing it to enter rico 4 better yeah because you know how like rico 4 entry you're doing a spin jump from the ship to the rafter is that what it's called rafter the the, the scaffolding the scaffolding um and then you're, you're spin jumping off the scaffolding into a wall kick off the lighthouse second wall kick off the scaffolding again into the secret and I was like, huh, so how does Cafalon get so much of a better spin jump off the scaffolding than I do, which lets him hover so much shorter to get to the secret? And then he told me how to buffer a spin jump. I'm like, oh shit, you just buffer the spin jump. And then boom. <laughs> so yeah. that was a pretty eye opening moment for me. Yeah, bu- buffering, like mo- mo- buffering into momentum spin, uh, uh, frame perfect spins, like from landing. Uh, yeah, that's... there's all sorts of, there's like so many weird things with spin jumps that are never going to be in a game again, but oh well. There are so many things that top level SMS players, I'll, you know what, I'll lump myself in, to, that we all know, you know, and that we a elite lot... gamers of sunshine, <laughs> but like nobody talks about it. There are so many things that nobody talk about. Dude, there's, and... there's just so much weird nuance to spin jumps. Like how do you even explain it all in one setting? But it, true, but it's it's just weird. Well, I don't even think it's weird that people don't talk about it that often. Like I'll mention it, and people go like, "Yeah," but there isn't like a a consortium that is like that comes together. Is just like, okay, we're keeping this a secret, right? Like, 
it, it's it's it feels so natural to just not talk about it as much as it is. Like every now and then I go like, oh, that was a frame perfect spin. Oh, that was like, but and if somebody in the chat goes like, oh, what do you mean by frame frame per, perfect spin? I'm willing to talk about it, but like there isn't any <laughs> like if okay, you look I'll, at tutorials. I'll explain it right now. How about that? You want to explain frame perfect spins? All right. So if, you know one of the the unholy texts of sunshine <laughs> frame perfect sure. spins. So there's a really weird thing in the game, and you can most easily test this with the, you know, like that little roof, um, the lower section of the left bell tower, people GWKD over a lot. Uh, sure. You can test this. So just like do a rollout into a spin jump. And if your spin jump clears the wall entirely and you're on the, the roof without doing anything else, it was a frame perfect spin, I'm pretty sure. But if you get a wall slide, it was not frame perfect. And basically, I don't, for some reason, I think it's like if you get like a spin jump on like the very first frame you land out of a rollout, yep. you get slightly more distance and height from it. You, from landing at all. Or landing at all. But like the rollout, you get like some momentum yep. into it. So it's a little bit better. Yeah. So you can actually, you can use that to clear the first Chuckster in the Chuckster secret entirely. Like, don't even talk to him at all. You can actually clear that gap with a spin jump, but it's, like, frame perfect. You can use it to get more momentum out of, like, a water slide spin jump. <clears throat> like, if you water slide, hover, frame perfect spin, you'll get more speed out of it. Yeah. And yeah. there's just, like, a lot of weird... And I, I don't think I've ever been told about a frame perfect spin. I Just over time, just playing the game, I'm like, oh, I went higher. Yeah, oh, it's just one of those things where it's like, oh, I know I timed the spin jump well because I had like a little more distance there, but like no one really yeah. talks about it. Because the, the thing is, there's no strat in the game anyone does that requires that unless someone was to be so crazy as to skip the first Chuckster text box. <laughs> but but isn't it like the same kind of... I, I, I'm not like... I, did, I didn't start talking about it to talk about Frame Perfect Spin, but there's so many weird texts like that. Like Frame Perfect GWKs. Not a lot of people talk about that stuff. Oh, yeah. Where, like, it makes and, you go in the same angle you were facing versus the perpendicular angle or whatever. Yeah. No no matter what the wall direction is. Like, you just keep going that direction. And <laughs> so many weird things in this game. Because you press Y before you hit the wall. But there's just so many small things that not a lot of people talk... Like, not that not a lot of people talk about it. Like, I'll talk about it with JPEP or you or CAF or whatever. But if you... Uh, like, if you look at a Dutch J tutorial, or a, to bring it all back to that, or a GBS tutorial by Racefire, or Bouncy Boy, or Cloaked Yoshi, or Zelzy. Or Paper Zelzy Oreo, one, or anyone who made it. Or, uh, yeah, whoever, the fleet of people that made GBS tutorials. Nobody talks about, like, the super deep tech. It's like, okay, you walk into a coconut, you clip through, and then it's done. But, like... I think th they do a little are, more detail than that. <laughs> <laughs> you walk into a coconut. It's not that complicated. <laughs> and, then you, and then you time your hover, then you're done. It's been six years. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... I don't know. It's just funny that a lot of like watching, watching new players, there are things where I'm just like, they don't know. Uh, some people just don't know that if they don't hold forward on a blooper with like on a green blooper, they won't die. You know, I feel like, like most people know that now. Most people do, but like new well, like, newer if, players, if you're, if you're picking the game up for the first time, you're obviously not going to know that. The, the, this is my point. We need to like make a video that is just like ultra scrub. Like, <laughs> like this would be extremely helpful for you to know. All right, Shit. this is like the ultra scrub weird niche things that no one's gonna tell you. You just gotta figure it out in your L. Like things that you normally have to just figure out by hearsay or on your own. Yeah, you can just watch this one video and just figure out all that knowledge right here. Here we go. Exactly, and number I, one, I feel like green bloopers not holding up. You can't die. Number that's two, that's a really good hint <laughs> for somebody because I I've watched so many people just die and are just like, ah, oh, crap, I hit the wall. It's like if you literally let go of forward, it used to be part of the Rico six hundo route. If if I still did Rico six hundo in ninety six shines, it's slightly slower. Blah blah blah. I'm sad about it. Uh, still sad about it after two years. I, uh, I'm sad too. I don't even play the game anymore. Part of the route was. You ended like you you rid, you rode the blooper. You got all the coins there, and then you went right into a boat. But you like you stopped yourself on the boat just to turn around. So you don't hold forward. You hit the boat. You just turn around and go. So it, it would it would be shown so often. If well, it, on my stream, I guess 
not dying there. But because there's no real, there's no strat to learning or there, there's no strat tied to not dying on a blooper. It's just like, don't hit a wall. But past that, it's just like, if you don't hold forward, it's, it's nice to know for, uh, for like me, uh, you, you know it eventually and you're good enough to know, but like for newer players, when you actually need to know it, it's like, thanks. I would, I, that that's really helpful. <laughs> like I won't die in Rico six as often. Okay, like I, the, the so, video is just going to be called like weird things that you normally have to learn from a random guy in your Twitch chat, but we're going to tell you right now. Or, or, or on your own. <laughs> yeah, either on your own or a guy in chat tells you, but we're going to just, here they are right here, just so you know. I, I don't remember who told me that n not holding forward doesn't kill you. I might uh, have One of them's going to be hugging the wall, missing the Yoko Essence skip. That's, I'll, I'll, that's a really good one. <laughs> I found that one. <laughs> yeah, that, you can explain that one. Fuck. But uh it it is funny to i don't know there there was some reason i i was thinking about uh ginger's fascination with uh with knowing all the frame data in sunshine just like th there are so many things in sunshine that you just know or you learn over time there's not like as many tutorials as there is melee like there's a bunch of like big trick tutorials but there isn't the deep nuance of speed running the game you know and okay so when do we start making this video after you're done your your uh, <laughs> mentality thing hey you know maybe if we're not lazy you might get on that all right that was my uh, little diatribe about new yeah, players i hope, hope you enjoyed that deep sunshine shit that was I, dope. I hope you guys know anything about sunshine <laughs> in order to appreciate any of that uh i wonder if i'll figure out who this 140 player is uh he's a good guy um, i believe you but so past that past the sunshine talk past all that we got we got three things to choose from, Trey. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna list them for you, and three. you're gonna be like, let's, a big number. Let's, let's talk about that. We can talk about uh, Shroud versus Ninja versus Doctor Disrespect. Mm -hmm. We can talk about that. We can talk Among Us and how to fix it. Hmm. Or we can talk about Fall Guys and the Shark Jumpage. I like Among Us. Okay, you like Among Us. All right. So, so we played Among Us recently. Uh, actually, hey, we were playing that game before it was cool. Let's just get that out of the way. That that is very true. We we played Among Us. For those who don't know, we gotta, you know, it's, 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 it's the big hit. It's it's Fall Guys and Among Us on the big hit streams right now. XQC well, is streaming uh, as we record. Ah, fuck, he's for, playing for chess right now. For the uninitiated, right? For the uninitiated. Yeah, Among Us is a game. It's kind of like a like a, a mafia type game, except it can only be done on the computer. Um, you're a bunch of people in a spaceship. There's one or two or three imposters among the group, and yep. they can kill people. And based on that and figuring out where dead bodies are and stuff, you narrow down to who the imposters can be before they kill everyone. That's it. That's exactly it. And the uh, the crewmates are just trying to uh, do their task. Uh, yeah, they're doing. They're trying to save the spaceship, and they're trying to weed out the imposters and win the game. And By doing the imposters, little, little WarioWare mini games. The imposters are doing the opposite. They're trying to kill everybody, make it seem like they're crewmates, and trying to just blend in. But, and then there's a meta. There's you know, as an imposter, what do you do to make yourself seem like a crewmate? Well, you pretend you're doing task. Exactly. Um, don't get caught hiding in a manhole or a vents because only they can do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't come out of vent. It's just like, oh, I was just coming out of the vent. It's like, no, only imposters do that. But yeah, so yeah, uh, we, we've explained the game pretty well. But there's a, there's a key fundamental aspect of the game that you feel, and actually when you mention it, I'm starting to feel kind of ruins the game once you play the game a decent amount. I, so you acknowledge the meta for a moment. Mm -hmm. I hate it watching big streamers. I haven't had it in our games. Like we haven't played it so often. We, we played it, we, we started playing it at the beginning of quarantine. Like we we played it a few nights at the beginning of quarantine when everybody yeah, we was started like out. in like in March playing it like yeah March or April, and we I don't know we played it a few times I think I've played it like four sessions total maybe I but, played it five or six total ah oh, brag um <laughs> you know I'm not to brag I played it a few more times than you have but I've been so enjoying watching I've been enjoying watching Ludwig and Mango and like a few mostly Ludwig play. Uh, play Among Us online. I hate it. Every And talking about meta developing, I hate it when anybody ever goes, 
they were standing at a task and when they left the task, the bar didn't fill up. I hate it to my very core. I like the, the fact that like most tasks do it, like there's step tasks that uh, fill up the task. Don't fill up the task bar. If you're just doing steps to the ultimate goal, that is a task. But really, really, really quick for the uninitiated. <laughs> this, oh, the top left task, corner. <laughs> this what? task bar we're talking about, there's I, a universal bar that fills up when literally any crewmate has a task. Yeah, like, like a sliver of it fills up. Mm -hmm. So what Sid's saying is people are like determining if someone's an imposter or not. If they saw someone who they thought was doing a task, leave that task and the bar doesn't fill at all. So continue on that. Because it just like, for every small task, it just does a little sliver and it just yeah. keeps stepping up like that. And it's, and there are, so, once a session, at least more than that, for sure. Uh, there is definitely somebody that press, like the session we were watching last night with Ludwig and a bunch of Smash players, people literally press the emergency button. You have the option to press the emergency button instead of finding a dead body to call a meeting. If you suspect anybody, blah, 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 blah. And they press the button to be like, hey, this person did a task or they made it look like they did a task and the bar didn't go up. <laughs> and and I'm just sitting there going like, God, this is the most lame shit ever. Like, it's supposed to be arguing amongst one another about uh, like, oh, you seem dis dishonest. Like, I came into this room. You were with a dead body. You're the only person that seems like it could have killed him. But there's also a vent that came. Like there's supposed to be argument, argument among the crew about what's going on or what has happened. And there, it just devolves sometimes into this guy made it look like he did a task and he didn't end up doing a task. And then it just makes the imposters part job so hard because if they try to make it look like they're doing a task and then the bar doesn't go up, it's just like, well, dude, like the bar didn't go up. Well, actually, you... it, it is pretty easy as an imposter to do that. You just because it feels a little bit when literally anyone in the whole crew does anything. You just have to wait until somebody does a task. Yeah. So actually, sometimes almost always you can wait for like a couple of seconds and then it fills up and you leave. I know. But it's, it's but but it's uh, lame. Selling, selling along that, those lines. Actually, I don't know if you were watching at this point. I was watching Ludwig stream a little bit later uh, after we were done playing melee, sure. and he. I think that, um, I don't know who actually was the imposter, but he at the very beginning of the game, he saw Tafo doing, I think, a task somewhere and then leave without the bar going up. Yeah. And then he was like, okay, chat, because he was talking to his chat. Like, okay, chat, I already know that Tafo's an imposter because his bar didn't go up, or the bar didn't go up after doing a task, I'm assuming. But they're not going to believe me because yada, yada, yada. And so he actually ends up bringing in that argument to the discussion. And guess what? Taffa wasn't even a bad guy. So Yeah. <laughs> well, th that was also... I, I did see that, but the, you, it was you saw also that too. because... Okay, I, wasn't, I wasn't sure. I, I, wa I watched, like, a lot of it. Uh, okay. But there's also the argument of new players where it's just like, if he brought that into the argument, the meta, their meta hadn't developed enough that he wouldn't be suspicious or whatever, like, bringing such... Because he's played a fuck ton of the game, whatever. That's one but, of the problems with, like those kind of games, the mafia type games is like the more you play it, the meta just devolves into making it not as fun eventually. Exactly. And my fix to fix tasks or faking to do tasks, like so that you don't have to wait until somebody finishes a tax tasks somewhere and just leave instead of doing that and like still have the bar in the top left corner there are segments to the bar there are like five segments to the bar entirely like uh like i don't know but it, it but it fills up like a fraction of a segment when they do something yeah it just, it just like there's little black bars that i guess uh slice it up essentially. yeah like it sort of like shows oh they're halfway done or three-fourths of the way done i say my fix for the game instead of showing each sliver of improvement in the in the thing just show each individual segment like uh, until the first fifth is done don't show any progress whatsoever and then the first fifth is done and then yeah. and then people can freely like as an imposter walk up to a task and just be like oh this 
this is about as long as it would have taken me and then walk away instead of yeah, being that like, would, okay. Yeah, that would definitely buff imposters. I guess the only flaw I see in that is people would definitely take more note of exactly how long people spend doing tasks. And it would get what to the point where it's like, oh, he spent like six seconds on a task that I could do like in three seconds. He's obviously faking. I See, I feel like that argument could be swept under the rug so so easily, though. See, I'm not even like arguing. I, I don't play the game a lot. I'm just, mm -hmm. from a viewer's perspective, I just don't want to see everybody uh, or every streamer of the game be like, hey, the bar didn't go up. I'm so sick of people. I, I want to see the, the streamer interacting. I want to see the argument. I want to see... Hey, this guy went to went into event. This guy's a stupid idiot. He killed right in front of me. Like, I want to see that shit. I don't want to be like, I was watching him at the wires and uh, the bar didn't go up. <laughs> it's just like this is the lamest shit ever, dude. I feel like the the bar's unreliable because like that Tafo example I mentioned, it wasn't even right. Yeah, but like for maybe better, maybe more developed meta groups. I don't know, but I. I, I I just I'm suggesting that to the ether. I'm not emailing the Among Us developers. I'm not tweeting at them. I'm but I well I, I think that there should at least be like the option to change how the bar works because there's yeah or just there, remove there, it. There's so many options to like customize your game. Like how many imposters, how long the cooldown time to kill people is. Yeah, there's like a million different customizations. They could have added a customization for how the bar works in the game yeah just like oh split into five segments split into four segments. The bar entirely that would kind of suck show, but yeah. show each individual sliver like it's just like oh you're yeah you play on you you play on individual sliver Ugh, gross Ugh. you know yeah it would that's, just be a way to you know sort of help the imposters out a tad bit well it, it, i i just think see i'm not even like thinking in in that way i'm not thinking helping the crewmate or helping the imposters mm -hmm. i'm just like i'm so bored of this one discussion that keeps popping up that is either something see when it's something it's 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 bad but when it's nothing it's just like okay this was just a waste of time you know mm -hmm. and like it's never a positive just like oh i i saw this guy at this thing and uh, uh he, the bar didn't go up it's just like it's never it's never a positive it's just like you're like you're you're making this fun game nerdy and dumb and but that aside, Among Us is a fun game, so everyone should play it. Oh yeah, it's it's def it's definitely worth five bucks. You know, yep. Trey, you know how I love games that are five dollars. Ooh, you do love Devil Daggers, dude. That's like a four year old joke. <laughs> dude, it's five dollars. Dude, it's less than five dollars. <laughs> there was a meme where Sid kept trying to convince me to get Devil Daggers. He's like, dude, it's five bucks. I'm like, I know it's five bucks, but I don't I don't care. It's five bucks, dude. Come on. Dude, it's less than five. It's so worth. Have you thought so about the, Have you thought about the fact that it's only five bucks? <laughs> I, huh, dude, I I'm thought not about kidding. that, Sid. That's crazy, huh? That sounds like a Kinney Cola. <laughs> maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe I should ever... get it because it's five bucks. You know what? Yeah, yeah I should get it. It's a, it, it De Devil Daggers also a fun game. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that that's complete. All right. Boom. Boom. Okay. Ninja. Ninja versus Doctor Disrespect versus Shroud. Yeah, they're, they're return streams all happening almost simultaneously. So we, we touched on it a little bit last week. Shroud is the new addition. We, we talked about the Dr. Disrespect versus Ninja starting or whatever. Mm -hmm. Do Dr. Disrespect fucking cleaning up right now on YouTube. He's like over 150,000 viewers every single time. Yeah, and I actually, catch it. Dr. Disrespect has been around a long time. I think before Twitch and stuff, he, he did YouTube stuff. Oh. And I think he just was purely on YouTube doing his same little character. And then he moved to Twitch. And then now it's, came, it's come full circle. Now he's banned from Twitch back to YouTube. Uh, so he, I guess he could like sort of keep some of his older audience plus the new audience awaiting the grand return and then just millions of viewers. So, so Shroud's back. Out. Shroud's back to Twitch. Big deal. A lot of viewers on his first day. Less viewers on his second day, but when I say less, it's like, oh, it's 70,000. He's hurting. Yeah, uh, this stream really fell off. Yeah, it's just that kind of thing. Where it's I just, guess he's just washed it, up now. It is funny to think that, like, when Ninja was, was super huge, it was just, like, 130,000 each day, six, 600,000 when he was playing with Drake, and then, like, near the end of his Twitch career, it was, like, or I guess not Twitch career entirely, but before he went to Mixer, it was like, oh, he's hurting. He has 13,000 viewers or, like, 20,000 or however many viewers uh, he had it was just like oh he's hurting it's like fuck dude uh, like that's still it, like 
half of an arena's worth of people. <laughs> oh, it, it, it's it, yeah, it's a lot of people, <laughs> and like, it's, it's still a shitload of people. But it's just funny, like the comparisons you make. Yeah. And uh, but so so Ninja, so Shroud did his his comeback. He he's been putting out he was putting out like small t- gifts on uh on Twitter. He hadn't really been announcing it that he was coming back. Hey, I feel like I feel like the meta. The, the comeback meta for big streamers has evolved because it's happened so many times now. Yeah. They do all these little things on Twitter or other social media to, like, hype it up to, like, maximize the, the hype of their return. Yeah, and uh, Shroud did a lot of that. Shroud just, like, went dead silent. He didn't tweet about anything. He wasn't talking about anything online for a month and a half, I guess, and then uh, started putting out these GIFs. And then everybody was just like, what, what does this mean? What, what does this load, what does this reloading gun mean? You know, like, what does this reloading gun? It's like, uh, he plays shooters. <laughs> what does and, it mean? What does it mean? Like people were analyzing them and like, oh, I see a, what's the character from, there was a character from Valorant in it. I can't think of his I name right now. I don't know right shit now. about Valorant. All right. Whatever. There was a character in Valorant in one of the shots. It's just like, oh, I, you see a, you see a character from Valorant. Oh, it's, ooh, it means he's ooh. playing Valorant. It's like, is, is he, he going pro? Valorant? Like, oh, what's, 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 what could this mean? But, uh, and then he, and then he put out his, like, oh, I'm going live tomorrow. Like I'm back to Twitch and his first stream will be tomorrow or whatever. And everybody's just like, oh shit. Oh, and then everybody watched it. How did, how, how do we compare everybody's return? Like Ninja hasn't decided anything. Ninja's like played two hours against, uh, with Dr. Lupo. And I, I think, I think Ninja's it. definitely the worst of the three. For sure. And the reason but, where he messes up is the lack of like the availability ness because you, you gotta you know what this is the perfect chance to just like throw out the <laughs> a topic we've theorized like 30 episodes ago you know min max everything min max everything okay you gotta in in games you know stat based games rpgs whatever you want to do a really good approach to the game is to min max your stats like all attack or you know have like no health to have all your fucking whatever the fuck <laughs> it's a good approach to games much like in real life uh-huh. because uh in in the case of you know twitch viewership because if you're just sort of always sort of like kind of around like you know you're posting on twitter every now and then like hey i'm still here guys but you know maybe streams coming every now and then like ninja's mm-hmm. doing it's it's just sort of wishy-washy and you know it's just sort of like okay well i guess he's still here fine but taking like the shroud approach or the doctor disrespect approach when you're just straight up like radio silence for a month or two months it just makes the comeback because like you're minimizing your availability to the public and then suddenly one day like boom like i'm back in full circle full swing and then at that point when you've like committed to being back, you fully maximize and like, okay, I'm gonna stream like 12 hours a day now. I'm like fully like in this. It's <laughs> a like, lot. I, I know, but I mean, full time streamers. Are, <laughs> yeah, 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 max, they're I nuts. Get it. max, Woo, max it out. Yeah, they're maxing it out. So like, you yeah. you min max your approach as a full time streamer to streaming. Like either you're fully going in balls to the wall streaming every day, or just straight up taking a, like a break for multiple weeks. And that will actually maximize, like, probably maximize your viewership because if you're just sort of, you know, like maybe once a week doing a stream, you know, not really caring, it's not going to be as effective. That's, that's the overall point of that, I guess. Yeah. And, and Ninja's sort of wishy-washy, like, hey, I'm, I'm on, what is it, New York Times, or I'm thinking about <laughs> doing something in Hollywood or voice acting. The Hollywood Reporter, please. Hollywood Reporter, whatever. <laughs> he, he did an interview. I didn't read it, but he was talking about like doing voice acting or being being a voice actor of some sort and like getting his foot in the door in Hollywood. And uh, it's just like okay, cool. It. Ninja's still around, and you know he might stream every now and then. Then you got Trout. He's like, where the fuck is this guy? He's just dead. Yeah, where, where is he? What the fuck happened? And then you have like the boom suddenly hype trailer like out of nowhere. And then boom, viewers are back. Cause like, oh shit, he's oh, back. He's back at Twitch. He, he might be gone tomorrow, so I better watch now, right? Yeah. It, it's the availability constant. It's just like anything in life is like that, you know. Beyond just Twitch viewership and stats and video games, that's that's the min max thing. 
We've theorized yeah. talking about for like 30 weeks. It's finally <laughs> happened. There you go. <laughs> that, that, there you go. You got you got Whew, some amount got of time that out in season one. Let's go. Uh, see, I I think my big thing about it is like for the Doctor Disrespect versus Shroud versus Ninja is that Shroud and Nin or Shroud and Doctor Disrespect did it really well. Yeah. And Ninja, I I just want to complain about Ninja's take on it. Ninja's interaction with all of it, where it's just he he started dude his, his his like weird welcome back to to twitch streaming thing it was just like he did a a, a game with a fortnite with lupo for 2 hours i'm not even a fortnite remind fan remind us of how the beginning of his stream was <laughs> it, it, i i didn't watch it all but i know that when it started he had like a 5 minute countdown and he like did he have he had his mic on while he was doing like a one-sided conversation with Lupo. So every now and then you'd it, like with 450 on the timer left before stream started, it's like, yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like, yeah, yeah, totally. Dude, totally. Yep. Uh, like, dude, come on. <laughs> and, uh, and then it was just him playing Fortnite, but like, I can't expect, see, I was complaining about him playing Fortnite just with Lupo casually oh, yeah, I mean, for two the hours. The content of the stream is like, whatever. Okay. Yeah. I, I, see, I, I can't, uh, I can't, really be annoyed with that at all because what what dr disrespect even though he's like youtube 100 over 100,000 viewers every, every time blah 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 big big shit happening over there had the reveal trailer revealed he was going to youtube blah 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 bunch of viewers every single time been playing or the other day he was playing with pewdiepie which is insane who is for, like the face of youtube yeah and that's that's crazy to me like Dude, the he was all on the, the Fall Guys train, much like we in my not. mind. <laughs> in my mind, it's always been just like PewDiePie. I've never thought of PewDiePie playing with anybody, and it's just like, oh shit, he's on YouTube. This makes sense, you know. But uh, not that I'm a huge fan of PewDiePie either. But it's just interesting. And but he was just playing Fall Guys. He was just on playing Which Fall is Guys. Like the very <laughs> anti the game I'd expect Doctor Disrespect to play. Yeah, but it's popular, and, so fuck it. And, and it, it's just funny that it's just like, sure, it's just a dude playing Fall Guys, or it's a dude playing Valorant, or it's a dude playing Fortnite. So it, you can't really expect much more than than that from a video game streamer. And that's kind of why uh, I'm going to be a weird big fan of Ludwig at this moment. But it, it feels like Ludwig puts a lot of effort into his stuff. Like, sure, some of, it, some of it is Among Us streams. and Oh, yeah, he definitely it, does. Like, he plans everything out so well. Like he, he he does like his opening hour of content and then he plays Valorant for the rest of the night maybe or like does does the Oreo tasting stuff like I'll sit and watch him like he was what he was eating European candies last week or whatever dude I watched his whole video of reviewing Taco Bell items with slime <laughs> and it's it's just like he puts effort he's he's one of the only twitch like I, including me i like i don't put it i'm playing super ni like 96 super 96 shines. super 96 super shines Ma sunshine <laughs> super mario, mario sunshine 96 shines i'm not like sweating over just like oh what are people gonna think it's just like me speed running a game but it, like when ludwig puts on stream or like he, he plans shit out and he's rocketing up at, for it like people love among us and he's yeah he, he knows what he's doing he's really smart about like the rate he puts his content out and all that shit. So, and and maybe if I watched more uh, Doctor Disrespect, I'd feel that way. But I I don't feel that way about very many. Like, sure, Doctor Disrespect has his bit and stuff. I don't know why this is a critique on Doctor Disrespect versus Ludwig now, but it's it's just funny how everybody came back to Twitch, and uh, I just wanted wanted to complain about Ninja for a moment. And uh, it's like, come but on, but it's dude. almost like like Ninja. He feels like he's on like this even higher plane of existence than the other streamers yeah. to where he can just sort of, oh, you know, I'm just going to do a stream, whatever. And then, yeah, it's, it's the arrogance. It, it just feels arrogant for some reason. But this, again, it's from me. <laughs> like, and again, who, who we gets... don't really give a shit. We just want to point it out. <laughs> <laughs> but well, no, I like, I give a shit. I, I'll rant about it for, I, I'm for... not, I don't really like, I'll, I'll watch Ludwig, sure. I don't really watch popular streamers that much, though. Oh, yeah. But it, I don't know. It's just, no, they're doing their thing. I don't know. It's just, uh, it, it's like what we, we talked about, like episode three. It's just like, it's not fun to not have a take, you know? It's like, yeah, oh, so we're like, just, fuck it, giving our take. Fuck yeah. it. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, so they're all back. Or I guess Ninja. See, Ninja, the weird thing about Ninja is that 
like sure I'm complaining about his stream back, but he hasn't really announced anything. He was on, he did a YouTube stream, he did a Twitch stream, he did like his World Cup on Twitch, and it's just like it was like a Fortnite tournament, and it's just like I, I like there isn't anything. He 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 has new merch out. That's all I know from Twitter. Yeah, you know, maybe Ninja's like getting kind of bored of the usual just being a regular streamer thing. Maybe that's a sign of that. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. You know, maybe it's just burnout. He knows. It's just funny to to compare them all. So our our my final thing will will end up probably be the being the final thing of the thing. I think this is it's mostly just you because I don't really watch Fall Guys stuff to be honest. I'm just gonna complain about Fall Guys. I know what the game's about and I've seen gameplay of it, but but wouldn't it be sick if it was Super Mario Odyssey movement? Yeah, uh, wouldn't it be sick if it fucking <laughs> was Mario, bro? I my take on Fall Guys is that like I didn't play it. I know Calf's been playing it a bit. And it lo- I'll, I'll admit it looks pretty fun. Like, I'll be the yeah, first to say I it. I don't even. I, the weird thing about Fall Guys. So for the uninitiated, <laughs> it's a everybody knows what Fall Guys is. Fall Guys is the game where you fall and you don't oh. fall. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I don't. I don't really know where to where to start this. It's just like sure, it's it's a battle royale that is just. A 3D platformer, if, kind of? Kinda, and it looks fine. Like, I, I'm not willing to pay 20 bucks for it. But, it, like, if it was free to play, I'd definitely Also, if it, it was five bucks, sure. you'd definitely get it. Oh, for five bucks. It's five bucks, yeah, man. Just, just get it, dude. <laughs> you know what? Nowadays, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> but, but Wait, really? Is 20 bucks preventing you from getting it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I, maybe I'm lying. I don't care about this. the money. It's just, I don't, I don't know. I have better things to do. This, uh, I was... Social standing, you know? I don't want to corrupt my morals. Good point. I, I don't know. I'm a big I'm a big curmudgeon about Fall Guys. Like, I, I, I feel like it's... I don't know if it's going to die soon. I don't know. Everybody seems pretty big on it. But I'm so sick of everybody playing Fall Guys. And, like, I, I'm looking around every stream. I don't know. I, 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 I don't really want to... It's the hipster talk. and Sid again. <laughs> Dude, it's the hipster in me, dude. You know, doesn't want uh, to play a top tier in melee. True. I, I don't really know where I want to go with the Fall Guys comp, comp or complaint. I, I don't. You know what? Wait, I'm wait, just wait, gonna. Wait. What was the name of this topic you have in your notes? It says Fall Guys and the Shark Jumpage. Okay, when I read that, the Shark Jumpage, yep. I I interpreted that as the Fall Guys like their Twitter account is sort of like going a little too ham with the memes and stuff like jumping the shark with the memes true like dude chill guys you know you made a popular smash hit game but like you know let us breathe you know (laughs) see i'm just i'm not for a game that doesn't have that much complicated movement or see when i say complicated movement everybody goes like oh speedrunner blah 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 it's not that hard to play i assume all, all I see you do is you can walk, jump, and do a little shitty dive. The, the most impressive thing I've seen is Huff's clip that he tweeted out of him beating, like, what was it called? Tiptoe? In just, oh, like, a straight yeah. line. Oh, yeah. Huffy or Puff has the world record in the, the tiptoe game. Yeah. Where it's just, like, it's the invisible path. Or, yeah. And because he literally disappears. just went straight forward doing jump dives and made it. And he was just like every success, like every successful jump dive. He was just like the the pog champ grew bigger. It's like oh, <laughs> oh! You know? it's actually like a beautiful clip. <laughs> and uh, like that's the most interesting thing I've seen from it. And, it, it just seems it, like it gets older really fast, though, right? Like a, a, every clip I see on YouTube or on Twitter about it, I'm just like, uh, I don't care. Like, sure, you were really good at the hexagon game, like. Uh, uh, you grabbed this tail. Like uh, the only interesting thing about the clips about it is just like randomly some some weird interaction will happen with a wall and another fall guy, and it just squeezes another character and they fly across the map. Like the glitchy things are the more interesting about yeah. it. Then, and, then the developers are like, <laughs> you know, we could patch this, but this is pretty amazing, Raffle. <laughs> yeah. And, okay. I don't know. I, I Actually, just don't yeah, like yeah, every... I respect that. I respect that. If they were like these hat and time developers, <laughs> you know, the hat and time developers, they consult speedrunners and they're like, oh, you see any glitches in the game? 
And they're like, yeah, you know, we're doing these glitches to like sort of sequence break this part of the run and all yada yada. And then, oh, sudden patch update. We fixed this one unrelated thing and it just somehow happened to patch that other thing you mentioned earlier. <laughs> like, yeah. hmm, I wonder how that happened. Well, okay. So at least they're See, not like bothering to patch that stuff. Like it's, they're, they're chill with it. True, but it's also like one versus one versus one. It's not like a speed run. Like, sure, you can yeah. speed run some of the levels, but it's not like a one player game. It's also not like a very serious game either. Like, it's just kind of... For sure. But I, I, maybe I'm... Again, it's like the tassing. I'm just a big curmudgeon. And it's just like, fun True. game. Everybody's having a good time. Sid, shut up. <laughs> but... Oh, uh, but you know what the jump, the, the shark jumpage truly is? I, sure. Every, every company ever... That's or, what I'm going for. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of companies, they're seeing the, the fall guy hype. You know, this is big, right? Yeah. We got, how do we capitalize on this hype right now? Oh, I know. Let's make a skin based on our brand. So what, what was tweeted it? Konami? It was Konami that tweeted yeah, Konami. out the, it, 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 they tweeted out the like solid snake and I don't know the metal gear solid. Yeah. It was terms, like solid snake and whatever the fuck characters in that game. Different variants of snake in like a f of a fall guy outfit and it's just like oh we worked on this hope you guys like it and it's just like uh. it's just all disgusting maybe maybe my problem with it is just like everything encircling fall guys is annoying yeah it's just such you can like see the obvious hype train rightage yeah and, and shark jumpage going on like like sure like thundershots was enjoying it he was talking about it last week like if you play with a group of three and are just having like getting drunk and playing fall guys like i can't i can't fault you for that i that's that's that sounds like a great fine. time honestly but but everything encircling that where it's just like the people that are streaming being like only w's and <laughs> they're putting it's like a meme game with a meme title of a stream where like you're playing a meme game for sure, but like meme titling your stream, it's just like it's too much. Like it's it's there, there, I, there's I, too many there's too many layers of meme here. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah, chill I'm, out a little bit. Right? I'm drowning in the memes around this game right now, and I it's can't, almost like, like like everything around it. You you can't be genuine. You gotta like meme everything. Yeah, there's like so, always like some layers of irony to what you're doing. It's just it's that, just that, weird. That's why. I, that's why I thought the only person that I can look at and be like, this is a game for him. is just like when fire dragon is playing, he's been playing fall, fall guys. I'm like, this is a perfect game for him. This is a fire dragon game to a T. It, it, like when I saw him streaming it, it's just like only dubs. I'm like, this is the only person that I'm a, that's allowed to do this in yeah. my heart. Yeah. And every, every other person is just like, Oh, I'm, I'm playing like, it's not even sometimes it's not even memes, but even taking it seriously, it's lame. Where it's just like if, if you're being like, oh, playing Fall Guys with my buds, it's like cool. But if you're if your stream title is solos for W's and you're playing <laughs> Fall Guys, I'm looking at that and being like, what the fuck? Like who? <laughs> what are you what trying is to going do on? Here? Like what's the point? Like <laughs> it's so crazy, and it it just. It just doesn't, it makes me not want to play it <laughs> at all. No, like, dude, it honestly, I would probably be playing it if I didn't have to, like, work or do other stuff. But, I don't know. Like, if I had, again, if I had free time, shit, I'd, I'd fucking try it out. I, I again, but I'm standing I feel by like, my morals. I feel like when I look at it, like, after, like, five minutes of seeing it, I feel like, okay, like, I get it. Yeah, and... So it's not direct hate. Like I've I've come full circle on it. Like I thought it was direct hate towards the game. I don't it's think it's probably direct hate a good game. game. Yeah. Like if you play the game, I I I'm not judging you. Not that it matters if I judge you. Who cares? But it's just everything encircling it and all the the capitalism. Not that I not that I'm a capitalism hater, but we got to overthrow just, capitalism. That's it. Like all this gross, just like oh this uh what is it infection the 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 uh, trying to jump on the the wagon Every, everybody just like oh fall guys is amazing like, oh here just, come the other video game companies with their skins of their games like all yo. the tendrils all the tendrils coming out and trying to latch on to what little fall guys they can and i and it, like it's not being hidden at all which is i guess good but at the same time it's just like oh it's just all gross and that's that's my take on fall guys i guess and i I feel like it'll eventually die, but not that it matters really. Like they've yeah, they've know, made it's... they've made their money for sure. Yeah, props to the company for having a smash hit. 
and that's, that's not why... just like a typical battle royale. It's kind of a, a unique 3D platforming perspective on it. I'm, I'm glad that turned into kind of a discussion. I thought I thought I was just going to hate on Fall Guys, but I'm <laughs> I'm glad I I had some sort of uh, meeting with the goddess at some point during that uh, story circle. Uh, I I'm, I don't I'm glad really you have me as the goddess. That was that was good. Yeah, yeah I was meeting with you. Uh, but I guess is that gonna that's that's the three topics we covered. I, I guess that's it. Uh, everybody wear your masks uh, in in public thing. There's there was recently. Uh, I, I had this as a discussion point, but I guess it's it's too late for this now. But uh, there was recently, like we're in stage three now of reopening everything in Toronto and everything, and from COVID, and there was an announcement that. 550 people could have been infected because of a stripper in in Toronto like they opened up a strip a uh uh a strip club and that's what it's called they yeah I was, I was just trying to it's like it's a strip <laughs> joint a strip home um but strip club and a strip household and and one of the strippers had covid I think and he, they interacted with 550 people potentially. So I don't know. Things are going to happen like that with reopening. There, there's a bunch of people in the in the responses being like, "Oh, the, there's f- phase three, and they're opening up a strip house, and it's just or a strip club, strip house." <laughs> I like strip house. Now. <laughs> We're just calling it anything except for a club, <laughs> a, a strip place, and uh, but a strip it, kingdom. It, this will happen anywhere. Like I, I'm not defending strip clubs. I guess I am defending strip clubs. A strip fucking, sanctuary. But, but it, it's just funny that people are just like, oh, people are going to a strip club now? It's just like, yeah, it's phase three. Everything's trying to open up. Like, people are trying to make money again and participate in the economy. So it's just funny that one of, like a bunch of the responses is just like, really? A strip pl- club? Guys, it's just like, I don't know. People want to go to a strip club. Guys, have some class. Who? Like, what? Like, you're just, hate, dude, COVID. I don't know. It's good that you're keeping safe. They want to go to a strip club. It's their it's their choice, really. But it, it's See, not their why, fault. That's why that I feel kind of guilty COVID. about the wedding. It's like, oh, really? You're going to a wedding? But I'm like, it's my cousin's wedding. I don't know. I feel obligated to go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It feels weird, it's, but I don't know. It, we'll see. But yeah, we better wrap this it, up. It's still happening. That's all I'm saying. There's COVID's still around. Yep, it's that's not my, changing my... anytime soon. Yep. We're, we're if you enjoyed out. this episode. Be yeah, sure I, leave a I like. had a good time. I've never said to leave a like before until now. Episode 44, leave a like. <laughs> we get enough likes. If you're this far in. I'm, I'm, I'm being the Quan. We, <laughs> ah, we get enough likes. Wait, did Quan say that? Uh, Quan's thing on Twitter is just like, ah, I saw that tweet. <laughs> hey, I got, it, it had enough likes. <laughs> Dude, that's me all the time. Mm-hmm. But yeah, YouTube and Spotify and Google Play is where we're at. Where video games are hard. That's the podcast. Thanks for listening uh, and have a good evening. I'm going to assume it is where you are. Goodbye, everybody. Peace.